Hello everybody and welcome back to Vixen Purple's Crochet and More. I am your host Cheryl and at the time of this filming is actually September 7th of 2024. <laughs> I almost lost the year there for a minute. Um, today I am going to be uh, picking up back up on my um, holy cow picking up back up my tote series where I'm going through my totes because I'm trying to be on a very low buy even though I've had a few small splurges but they're getting used up some of this yarn is but that's okay anyhow I just wanted to come by uh come back and show you guys the totes that I'm working on going through seeing what's in them um basically so that I'm not having to go out and buy a, a crap ton of yarn even though the last couple of hauls that I've had is been, even though they've been small, I have been really resisting the urge to spend a lot of money and buy because some of it's on clearance or some of it's not. So today I'm going to try to go through two totes. I don't know yet. We'll see. But right now I'm going to be working on tote 51. Um, we're going to be taking a look at it. It is an 18, 18 gallon tote. And as you can see, it's a it's a good sized tote. I do have another tote over next to me. As you can see, here's the lid. That's a good size. I'm gonna set that right down here. This is what looks like it's might have a hodgepodge of stuff in here. So let me all right, Holly, stop. Sorry, I do have the puppy dogs in here. They are kind of like being vocal and that's the way it is but they're my fur babies and holly is actually my son's dog who is a husky so i guess that makes me grand grandma or something to her i don't know to me she's my kid i still discipline her <laughs> no not really all right so it looks like i have three of this in here I was wondering what I was doing with these things. Looks like I have three of the Big Twist uh, Value Acrylic. I know these are full yarn, so they haven't been used, even though they look like they have been around. So I'm going to give you one for you and one for me. They, um, these are 380 yards, 6 ounces, 347 meters, 170 grams. It is a number four weight, and the color weight is called lilac. So there's that. And I have three of them in this tote. And I knew I was going to use something with them, but I don't remember what I bought them for. I just saw the colors, and I'm going, ooh, pretty, ooh, pretty. So I got them. I may have gotten them when they had a really good deal at one time, um... Joann's would go and have their sales for, it was practically a dollar a skein. And I'm like, going, I can't pass it up. I got to go. I can't pass it up, especially on brand new yarn. Well, anyhow, all right, before I go any further, I wanted to let you guys know that a lot of this stuff I do get through Joann's, Michael's, um, Hirschner's, Mary Maxim. Yarn Inspirations, when I can afford to buy from them. <laughs> um, a lot of the other stuff I get through thrift stores and everything else like that. So I probably have a hodgepodge of stuff in these bags and totes. You just never know. But let's go ahead and... Oh, and, and Hobby Lobby too. So, or Facebook Marketplace or even the flea markets. That's what I've known to get yarn from there too. So, also... Oh, wow. Okay. Um... This, I know, I bought from the thrift stores. And it came in a bag of two. And believe it or not, it had the needles to go with it. These are very, very pretty needles. Those are absolutely gorgeous needles. I think these are what they call driftwood. And I think they're likeies. And these are... The five millimeter, five and a half millimeter. Focus. Oh, there we go. So, yeah, and you can see how pretty these are. Whoops. Don't want to break them. And they were in this just like that. So, 
Now I can take these out, put them with the rest of my needles. But anyhow, this is the, this actually comes from Kramer Yarns. This is the worsted. It's 40% cotton and 60% acrylic. You can see it right there. This is called Harvest and it is a tweed color. I don't know if these are full balls. They feel like they might be, but I just don't know for sure. I'll have to weigh them and find out. So that is about all. Okay, here's some more. Uh, these are supposed to be three and a half ounces, 100 grams, approximately 180 yards a piece. So I have two of these. I got to figure out what I'm going to do with them. Don't know yet, but I'll put them in the tote over here. You know, the other thing I have in here, and I know I have more of this. Look at good Frankenstein color. This is uh, Mary Maxim's Ultra Mellow Spun DK. It is 50 grams. It's 100 and not 100. 1.34 ounces. It is 70% acrylic. Acrylic. 30% nylon. It's 174 yards. 160 meters. It's made in Turkey. This is the colorway called lime. That would make a great um, Frankenstein color. Shoot, that would make a, probably a good Shrek hat too. Hmm, ideas. But I have one of these and I know I have more somewhere else in my, my totes. Um, the other thing I have in here, Oscar, go lay down, Bubby, is, um, a yarn be yarn uh it's called pitter patter this is eyelash yarn but that's definitely not an eyelash uh this says it's uh called angel it's solid it's four ounces 290 yards it's supposed to be a what weight are you it doesn't show the weight okay well it might be a dk weight but anyhow this is what it is. I probably picked this up at the thrift store. And it looks like it might be a DK weight. But this is some stuff that might be nice for me to do as a lovey for another animal, which I do have an animal that I probably should use this for. But right now it's just going to go in the tote. I know I picked that up. Now this one I know I picked up a while ago and this was I believe through Hershner's because Hershner's had these on sale for a ridiculous price and I wound up buying three so I bought this roll with it um, sparkle and this is supposed to be a four weight and as you can see right there is the yardage and the ounces and stuff so it's probably going to be a hundred percent acrylic let's double check 97% acrylic and 3% other fibers, which is the Lurex, 5.29 ounces, 561 yards. This is the color called Magic. Magic. I thought that was so pretty. I have, think I have done a shawl with this yarn, and I really, really enjoyed it. But then again, I might have more downstairs somewhere. The other thing I have in here is a... Yarn B, um, 44th Street in silver. This was a clearance yarn. I think I picked it up a while ago. I don't remember which, which sale I picked it up, but they were getting rid of all their 44th Street. This is the silver gray. And it is three and a half ounces, 540 yards. This is a three weight. So... And this is 540 yards, 500 meters. It's a 70% acrylic and 3% poly made. So there we go. There's that. I know what this is. This is Mary Maxim's um, Sparkle Yarn. I do have more of this. I don't remember what the colorway. I was going to do a project with this. Let me see. Let me see if I can pull this off. This is called Cappuccino.
this is and I I would get these through there there we go I would get this through their um, mystery bags and then sometimes I would order some more but this is um, called cappuccino this is a approximately 191 yards one point uh, 175 meters it's 97 percent acrylic 30 percent other 100 grams and it's three and a half ounces and it's really pretty and it does have a sparkle to it i just don't remember what i did so i just probably wound it back up and threw it in the tote the other thing i have in here is another yarn bee um must be, must be merino Aaron. i should pull this one out and put it back with the other but uh, this is a blush and I picked this up at their clearance. So, and this is 50% merino wool, 25% acrylic, and 25% of nylon. It is a number four. It's 153 yards, 140 meters, and it's 3.5 ounces. So, there's that one. The other thing I have in here, what was it? I should have a couple more, but I don't know where they're at, where they're at right now. Is this uh, Roll With It Sparkle. Again, it's the same specs as the first one. This is called Destiny. And it's really pretty. And it's a, there you go. It's the red heart. Okay. The other thing I have in here is a Burnett um, Softy Chunky. And this is the color of True Gray. It is a six weight. It is supposed to be, where are your yardages? I think it's 109 yards. Really? No, it's 108 yards. Go, Cheryl. It's right there. And that's the, the, the yarn. So that would probably make a good hat for something later on. This I know I picked up at the thrift store. And I got three of them, but they're half-used skeins. And they were originally $4.99, but I think this was a half-off ticket. So I got a bag of this from the thrift store. So there's enough to do a, another project. Don't know what, but we'll figure it out. So I'm going to put these back into that. Oh, so that's where you guys are at. I think I have more of this. But this tote has two of the Caron Cloud Cakes. And this is the color. Well, I can get it. So I have two of these. So there we go. One for you, one for me. And this is 760 yards. It's a six, six, 695 meters. And this is eight, eight and a half ounces is 240 grams. It says it's a number four. And this is called Rich Teal. It is so pretty. It is so pretty. I got to figure out something to do with that. But I have some other cloud cakes. So it might, I might do something that makes them both. Um, what is the specs on this? 100% of polyester. Okay, so we know that's polyester. So I'll put those in there. In here I have one of Mainstay's um, acrylic yarn. Um, let me know real quick. Um, is Walmart getting rid of their Mainstay? Because I saw on um, Who Knows uh, video that the, his Walmart's getting rid of some mainstay for like two bucks a ball. But anyhow, uh, let me know if you guys have heard that. Put it down in the comments. This is 285 yards, 260 meters. It's five ounces. This is the color of a, what color are you? Pink Malte. I heard that this pulls really nice, so there's that. I have, I think I have more downstairs too, so, or who knows where, you know. 
Um, the other thing I have in here, I think I showed you guys this a while back. This was a, I got it from the thrift store, I believe. And I got it for like cheap, cheap. So I have this, it's called Bright Magenta. It is Burnett Vel Crushed Velvet. I do not remember what I paid for it. This is supposed to have 315 yards, and this is 100% um, polyester. And it's supposed to be a five weight. It could be a four. But, yeah. So I, f I picked this up from there. But that's what I got in that tote. In here, I have, looks like I have two of this. Now, I know for a fact that this is... Um, I got these from the thrift store and these are a little bit higher in yarns not by much but they're a little bit higher i paid a dollar 29 for them at the goodwill and i was trying to pull off to see how much what the what the uh label was trying to say so um one for you one for me because i've got this this says it's 35 percent camel hair 35 percent cotton 20 percent acrylic and 10% wool. This is one and three quarter ounce ball of 50 grams. And there's a, they got this from a person, uh, a, not a person, a store called Stitch in Time. So I think, does it say how many ounces on here? Let me go, give this back to you guys. Um, this does not say on here how many yards are in here. So I think with the two of these, I might be able to do maybe a hat. Maybe, I don't know. But that's what I got. I had two of them. So there's that one. Oh, I remember I bought this. I bought this for possibly doing loveys. I just hadn't got to it yet. This is going to be the uh, Red Heart Su Super Saver Jumbo Speckles. This is called uh, Light Blue Speckle. And there's the yardage on there. It looks like it's two, uh, 10 ounce ball. And it's 283 yards. And that's what the colorway is. I thought that was pretty. Uh, it looks like I have another uh, Mary Maxim DK Spun. Mellow Spun DK. Now this I remember buying at the thrift store when I was in California um, before my, my father passed away. So I bought this and that was the price I paid for it at that thrift store. And I think it was $0.69 cents or $0.99. Cents. One of the two. So this is the color brown, warm brown. So lots of stuff. So this is also a three weight. So that's what I have in there. That I remember buying. The other thing I have in here is a blue. This does not feel like a red heart blue, but it could very well be. I don't know. But then again, this also feels a lot like I love this car, um, yarn and it's just a blue. So it feels like it might be a full ball, no label on it. The other thing I have in here is um, this is a yarn from Loops and Threads and I did, I was doing a project with it and I don't remember what I was going to do, but I ripped it out and I wound it up and just put it away. So there's that. That's a full ball. Oh, there's, there's its, is it this mate? Yep. Yeah, okay. So it's impeccable. There it is. So this is called, uh, fresh lilacs and, um, let me do this one and I'll read this one. This is 187 yards, 3.5 ounces, 171 meters, a hundred grams. And it's a four weight and that's about it. So I have two of them in here. I knew I was doing a project with it. I just wasn't sure what. So there's that. Oh, this is where you guys went. Okay. All right. 
So, a while back, I went on to Ice Yarns, and I bought some bunch of uh, Picasso yarn. So I have basically, I have another one running around here. So I bought this Picasso yarn. It doesn't have a colorway, but this is the pink gray colorway. And this is the, that's the numbers for it. It's six, two, I'm sorry, six, nine, seven, eight, five is the colorway. Um, and I had bought three bags, so there was eight balls per bag. And yeah, so now I have enough here to do a project with on that. Sorry for all the crinkling. And then I got three of the same kind of yarns, but this one's called the dark rainbow color one, but it's a rainbow. Um, there's the number. It is 64627. I have three bags of the dark rainbow. So now I can do something with a project with it in mind. I don't know yet. I really, I really enjoy the Picasso yarn. It is so, so soft. It does have a halo, but it, oh my gosh, I have a project made with it and I love it. I love wearing it and stuff, but it was a different colorway. But anyhow, there's those. Put that over there. Um, I have one of the Star Glitz in the color, well, it doesn't really have, I think it's Ekru color, but... It's, um, does it have a number on here? No. So it's 94% acrylic, 6% uh, metallic. It is a three weight, um, but that's what it looks like. It is beautiful. I've done several projects with this stuff, and I really like the yarn. I love how it comes out. A uh, mystery ball of yarn, but I think this is a... I've seen other people use this or have it. Um, either Vanna's Choice or what's the other one? Lion Brand. Lion Brand has this yarn, and they discontinued it. But this is what I had, what I got up from a thrift store. So, and it's a very, very thin, minus the hair. Uh, very thin metallic yarn i have to figure out what i'm going to do with it but there might be enough to do a hat with that one uh looks like last but not least in here is um i picked this up i got two bags i may have another bag somewhere i just don't know where it's at of the ice um magic glitz this is in a rainbow color there it is there's the number, it should be uh, nine, five, whoop, whoop, da, da, da. turn it around. 22056 is the colorway on that. Well, it would help if I turn it upside, right side up, huh, Cheryl? <laughs> so there's that. So as you can see, it's very, very beautiful out of the bag. Um, I had a little bit lighter color. I did a shawl with it and I love it. So I bought some more to possibly do some more shawls okay that is it for this tote i'm going to put you guys on pause grab another tote so this is tote 51 the other one is going to be tote 52 hold on guys okay okay that was a second for you guys about two minutes five minutes for me or something like that all right so guys i have another 18 gallon tote this is what it looks like that's how big the tote is I'm going to put my sticker on it because that's what I normally do. So that way I'm not re showing you guys everything. So um, I put my stickers on it, write the tote number. And then if I get adventurous, I will pull something from that tote and I'll have to mark it down as a where I got it from. All right. So this tote has got a lot. What are you doing, rascal? 
it's another hodgepodge of stuff in here but i can guarantee you this is stuff that i picked up from the th well a good portion of it i picked up from the thrift store and i have some more dark teal lovely um i have two and then i have a blue so Oh, it looks like there's a bunch of stuff in here. All right. First things first. All right. So when I was going to the thrift stores, I would get some really good deals. Okay. My thrift store is called The Ark. There's, I have a couple of them. I have The Ark and I have Goodwill. There is a Salvation Army up here, but um, during the time of the, the virus BS infection. Um, we went into it one time. I got some great deals out of there and have not been back since because of the way my husband was treated as well as a few other things. And yes, I understand they were doing their jobs, but you still didn't need to threaten people regardless. I don't care if you're an employee or not, or you're just trying to follow rules and regulations. Threatening people is just not a nice, nice thing to do. But anyhow, um, we do have those thrift stores. Now this thrift store I was at is the Ark and I would get these. I don't remember which one I bought them from, but these were a really good deal. And even at the price for full balls, even at, even at their regular price, I will buy it. Okay. So they had these marked as a, as this price, $5.99 full ball label still on there so I'm gonna try to use it something um but yeah this is uh their blue I haven't opened it as you can see I just kind of stuck it in a box but sometimes I would get these things on their half off deals I may have gotten it on a half off deal I don't remember because it's been that long so even for $5.99 I will pick it up even if it says it's if it's not on sale. So this is their blue, and I'm pretty sure this is blanket uh brunette blanket. Let me see if I can well shit sure. I'll just pull out the bag. Hold on, guys, I'll be right back. Alright, I didn't want you guys seeing me struggle with this one, but yeah, this is what? Okay. <laughs> I should have looked at this beforehand. I thought this was a brunette blanket. This is not. Someone had bought this from Joann's. And it's their big twist plush in the color. What color are you? Uh, cobalt. That's what it says. So... I'm assuming they started a uh, project with it. I thought this was brunette blanket yarn but it's not and there's one thing I've noticed too guys just a a, a tip and FYI um burnet blanket is a little bit smaller than this plush and I find the plush a lot softer so okay yeah so for $5.99 if even if I got it at half off I still scored on this so I have this in here and it's a full ball the other is the is the burnett blanket and deep teal i have two of them it's all 100 percent polyester one was 153 yards the other one was uh these are 220 yards so i got those well it's pays to look at stuff huh <laughs> instead of just assuming um in here i have a ball for. I don't remember what I bought it for, but um, I have this um, Yarn Bees uh, Cozy ch uh, Chunky and Cozy Amethyst Caverns. It's 56 yards. I paid $2.24 for it when they were having their clearance. As you can see, I probably bought it as an accent. I don't remember, but it's really, really soft and pretty. I hope we have to figure something out for that, but that's in this one. Okay, so I was talking about just chenille yarns, but here's a, here's one. So this is uh, 65 
yards and it is 1.76 ounces and it's their brown color this is called cocoa so I may pull that out because I might have a project for that I just don't know um, these guys I bought a central machine and it came with a bunch of scrappy yarns so I have these in there I don't know if I'll ever use them I just may throw them in a um, another project so I have those in that tote too um, whoops looks like I need to get and I don't have no tape up here it looks like I have this um, dream supreme it's 144 yards it is the yarn bee it's definitely a six weight yarn. I paid $2.24 for it. As you can see, really pretty. This is the colorway. What color are you called? This is called linen. So I might have to figure out a project for that. So 144 yards, 200 and it's eight ounces and 200 something grams so I have that in there uh, oh okay really Cheryl all right I have one two three well that's a different yarn okay I have two of this breathe deep super bulky it's called winter white oh, let me do it this one and this I got on clearance for $2.99. I got two of them. So one for you, one for me. Um, this is 10.5 ounces, 303 yards. It's called Winter White. Um, it's 100% polyester. So I have two of those. In here. Okay, I gotta see how many I got of these. Oh. Okay. All right, so it looks like I have different colorways. All right, I have different colorways. Um, it looks like I got two of a green. And it's called the Soft and Sleek Chunky. So I'm going to hold these up, but I have, I'm going to read off the other ones. If I can do this, let's do this. So I have two of these. This is um, 5 ounces, 211 yards. It is called, what color are you called? Olive. And this is, should be 100% acrylic, low pill acrylic. And there you go. I have two of those. So these are going to be the same specs, just different colorways. I have a linen in the soft and sleek, chunky. I have a white. I have a spice, which is kind of, this light's blowing it out, but it's kind of more of a red, reddish color. In there but it's really really pretty this is a uh, this is called red okay and this one is called dark gray on that one so those are what I have in there um, and it looks like I have four okay that's it so four of this finesse um all by yarnby there are three well here i'll do the purple so i have the this one here this is the finesse holly please stop uh this is 75 percent viscose 25 percent polyester this is a three weight these are 350 yards and it's supposed to be a 300, not 300, 3.5 ounces. So I have 
two of, of the color, what color are you called? Heather. I have one in black. You can see, and then I have one in called Humus. And it's more of a, a clay color. A, or a mud color, whatever you want to call it. So I haven't figured out what I'm going to do with this just yet. Um, it's very, very soft. I'm not dissatisfied with the way it feels. Um, yeah, I'll have to figure out a... Maybe I bought this for a shawl or something. Don't know yet. I'll have to see what I got. what's going to happen with this. Okay, also in here, I thought this was... I got these. I was wondering what I did with them. I have different colorways, but let me pull them all out. Okay. All right, so it looks like I have these, and I'm going to hold one up for you. Um, these Yarn Bees Cozy Occasions, and each one of these are different, but they're the same spec. Let me give them to you. So each one of these balls is going to be 5.5 ounces, 156 grams. It's 101 yards, 92 meters, 100% polyester. And it looks like I have two of this, like, burgundy color. What color are you? Called cranberry. Okay. I have two of this called cozy down pillow. And these are five weights, I believe. Five? Are those five weights? Let me see. Six weight. So I got those. I have one of this one. It's called Martella Mix. And it's got yellows. It's got uh, the cranberry color. It's got a, like a teal color. So I have stuff in here that might actually work well with it and make this an accent color. Um, it looks like I have two of this light gray. So I have two of those. I have one that's called Fresh Lilac. Then I have one that um, <clears throat> has seen better days. Soft pink. And then Cozy Teal. So that is what I have in this. Last but not least i have two more balls in this but this um is called simply flawless this is 420 yards seven ounces this is called gunmetal and that's actually really pretty that would make some great hats so but there is it this is also 100 percent low pill acrylic hmm. so i'll have to see about that and the other one i have in here that i got from the thrift store Paid dollar twenty nine. It feels like it's a full ball. It's called um, Burnett Softy Baby. This is three hundred sixty two yards, uh, five sorry three hundred thirty one meters. It's a five ounce ball. I paid. Its colorway is called Buttercup, and I paid that much money for it. I paid a dollar twenty nine for this. So I haven't figured out what I'm going to do with it just yet figure it out but it's a three weight i could add it to another three weight project or something like that but anyhow guys that is going to be it for this for these uh this video it is uh going on 40 minutes and not not good <laughs> it's a lot of yarn all right guys i'm going to say um thank you for watching my video i appreciate it um if you guys are liking this please leave a comment um leave the thumbs up if you're new to my channel and you like what you see, please consider her hitting the subscribe channel because uh, subscribe button with all the bells so you get all the notifications. Because you never know what this uh, what I'm going to post next. Because my channel is always under construction. You guys will be seeing me in another video with the same outfit on. I do work a full time job and I get Saturdays pretty much to myself. So I have a pretty much of a quiet house with no interference. And um, so I'm able to do videos 
and go from there. But anyhow, guys, I want to say thank you. Thank you for joining me. Thank you to all my new subscribers, as well as my OGs who have been here through the thick and the thin of it all and wondering what the heck is Cheryl doing next <laughs> type person. Um, anyhow, you guys are the best. Thank you so much. Um, also, I just wanted to say real quick, too, if you do like um, going through your totes series or yarn hauls or something like that, um, I'm going to recommend you guys going over to Scraptastic Yarns. She is also doing a going through her tote series type thing. Um, she has some wonderful, wonderful things going on in her totes. Some of it I'm like going, oh, I want that yarn, but I don't need it. <laughs> but anyhow, um, you guys go see her. Her name is Jane and she's a wonderful lady. Very, very, very sweet person. Um, she reminds me a lot of my grandmother who is very sassy and uh, very opinionated as well. And yes, Miss Jane, you are opinionated, and I like that, and that's one thing I'm saying about it. But anyhow, if you do like that, please go check her out. Um, let her know that I sent you guys, uh, if you guys don't know anything about Miss Jane. Also, if you are interested in more tote series, let me know, uh, because I'm still doing some other things. I'm also going to be considered doing a um, finished product series, because I have totes of finished stuff. So if, if and when I ever do have go to a craft store or a craft sale or something like that, I will have supplies <laughs> and stuff like that because I've been doing this a long time. Well, for the last, was it seven years now? Six, seven years now going on? Yeah, it's been a while. So anyhow, you guys, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. You guys take care. Big hugs from me to you guys. We'll see you guys on the next video and thank you for joining me. Have a wonderful day now guys. Bye.